Hey there, welcome to Michael on the Go. I'm your host, Michael Gennady, and today I'm with... Chris Gregory from Amada. From Amada. And you guys do some awesome stuff. Yeah, we absolutely do. Uh, we extend the Azure Active Directory governance and compliance. We enable direct provisioning into the My Apps mm -hmm. panel and give customers the ability to get control of who has access to the right resources and ensure that through governance and compliance. So, you know, when we talk about, because governance and compliance is huge, right? So I'm dealing with hospital chains and large multinational pharmas. What are some of the ways that you guys help them? Well, I think the absolute way is to have localization and control, and you can achieve that through a proper governance and compliance module, whether it's based on a region or based mm -hmm. on an individual business inside of a business unit. Uh, you have the ability to have those granular controls, and by combining Omada with Microsoft, you have an absolute, truly yeah. better together story, and we've got great documents on that. Publisher. Yeah, and I know we're not going to say any names right now, but you definitely have some experience with some very large multinational Certainly. instances Certainly. where they're dealing with compliance and all that and really around that identity and access and, and securing that. Absolutely, right? we certainly do. Uh, we've got a great record in health and life sciences with Pharma and it's, again, it's always great. I'm honored to be here with you, uh, fellow Microsofty, and just talking about <laughs> identity governance and compliance here at uh, Digital Transformation. Digital Transformation. And if you can't get your identity and access, you are not going to digitally transform. That's, That's absolutely like right. That's like table stakes, right? But also, also keep in mind too that as you digitally transform, your audit processes and your governance yeah. processes need to mature and rationalize as well. Because if they don't rationalize, you truly haven't digitally transformed if you're still pushing Excel spreadsheets to get a hold of governance and compliance. Wait, wait. People shouldn't just be pushing Excel around? Well, Excel has its purpose in the business, Mike, as we all know. Everybody loves Excel, but when it comes, but, to, when it comes to do an audit and it comes yeah. to do compliance, there's a, there's a there's way, to, way to advance those uh, technologies yeah. and become a more rationalized yeah. model, right? And I think Absolutely. That's what time, time is the most precious asset we have, and expediting yep. your audit and getting a handle on it is certainly a maturity level that everyone can achieve. So, if people want to learn more, you know, like again, like I said, you know, I'm dealing with the Northeast, but we're t I'm in the healthcare and life sciences group. For Microsoft, yep. And if our customers want to learn more about how they can move ahead, what should they do? They can go to www.omada.net, and for information, they can go to info at omada.net or sales go to sales at omada.net. And we'll be happy to help anybody. There we go. Thank you. So Thanks, with Toby. that, this is Mike Gennady and Chris Gregory. Bidding you have a great day. Take care, and as always, long day. Long Ciao. day. Definitely long day. <laughs> Ciao. <laughs>